I need to create the Workbench Plus, and this is what's going to skyrocket the progression of the series really quickly. And as much as I feel like this is a big way to cheese it, it's also built into the game, so I don't feel like it actually is. Uh, but we do need this in order to create some crazy items with some crazy recipes. Uh, the ultimate goal is we're going to be creating the Chunk Destroyer. And uh, in order to make that, we need some more of these markers, pumps, and quarries. So in order to make a quarry, we need all of these items. I never played with this before, so I'm very interested to see how this is going to go. Uh, we do have the flux point selected. I don't know if it's connected, but we'll figure it out. Let's see here. If I'm going to try putting in the exact recipe it takes to make one of these quarries. So it's uh, 32 and then a whole stack. No, that's not it. What else am I missing? No. Oh, I'm missing... There we go. I want to make a quarry plus. Oh, nice. And I'm assuming it just took it out of my uh, network. Okay. All right. So we're going to make another one of these and another one of these. Next, we're going to need some quarry pumps. And this one I'm a little worried about because I don't think I have any more iron. Wait. Barely. <laughs> okay. This is the reason why I started uh, making cactus farms early on, was for this specific build. And this is also why the block builder factory thing that I made is all super useful. So if we just shove everything into the machine here... What else am I missing? Oh, right, the glass, of course. How did I forget? <laughs> the quintessential item. And uh, let's just throw all of it in here. Throw the rest of this into the storage. And now we need the pump plus. There we go. This is just about going to use all of the iron that I have in my storage. It's a big investment, but it is absolutely worth it for what we're going to do with uh, what we're making. So for the last thing we need, we need to make a flexible marker, which is made out of these items. We need three of these. So I think I collected everything correctly. Yes. So we're going to make one, two. Eh, I think I miscounted the iron. Okay, three. <laughs> so... There we go. Now, after creating all of these, we can create the Chunk Destroyer. I just want to show off how little I have now in terms of important materials. Iron, you don't even see it anymore. Is there a way that I could... Last modified quantity name... Okay, no. So, uh, in terms of iron, I'm down to 27, same with gold. Redstone, I still have a healthy amount. Uh, lapis, I'm still good. However, my diamonds are down to less than a stack. My emeralds are down to 38. Very concerning. But, I have everything to make the chunk destroyer, so it will be all worth it in the end. Uh, we could have all of these. And finally, that was a lot of power, by the way. I'm pretty sure my flux network needs to recover. Actually, let's go check out how it's doing, because I, after all that crafting, I didn't actually check. And I wish there was a way to do it, but I think I actually have to go check the cube itself. It's not even empty. It's... <laughs> In fact, it's still overflowing. Wow. That really took nothing? Are you for real here? <laughs> Melons are so broken in this game. Biofuel is so broken in this game. Jeez. Another thing that I'm going to make, though, is going to be an enchantment mover so that we can actually enchant the chunk destroyer. So we need 
just a little bit more items here. Almost the rest of all my diamonds down to 19 iron. Gold I'm still doing fine on. Redstone still all right. Obsidian I have infinite of. Anvils. I should have some here. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. Ooh, I wasn't going to have the iron for it. And ender pearls. That's plenty. Okay. So we just dump everything everything in here and we can make an enchantment mover okay perfect i'm gonna see if i could find a fortune 3 tool at least uh in this mod pack fortune can go all the way up to eight uh and then nine with a tome but we'll probably save that for uh my tools actually plus i don't think i have the tome yet unfortunately i don't think i have a fortune tool we do have some levels to go through so why don't we just take like a diamond pick or something this isn't really necessary but i think it would be just better if i could have a little bit more right off at the start but the fact is we're gonna get a lot of items just from the chunk destroyer so it's not really necessary that we put fortune on it. Silk touch though. Mm, nah. Fortune three. Fortune two. Mm, this is not good enough. Why is there a grizzly bear in my base? That's a little concerning. Uh, not breaking though. No. Yeah, I got three more enchantments, four more enchantments left. This is kind of ridiculous. What the hell happened to, why is fortune so rare? Okay, fortune three, there we go. Used all my dang levels from the dragon fight. Are you kidding me? Okay, so like I was saying, we can use the enchantment mover. Um, what, uh, what does this mean? Uh, and then we can take a pickaxe with the enchantments that we want to transfer over to the chunk destroyer. And we can just choose fortune, fortune, fortune. There we go. Uh, and then if we really want to, I guess we could also move the unbreaking, but it really doesn't matter. So now the pickaxes enchantments have been transferred over to the chunk destroyer. Now I'm going to finally use the last bit of my diamonds to create. Oh, that's cool. Uh, I'm going to create a diamond backpack because uh, I expect we're gonna get a lot of items here then we're also going to maybe upgrade it to netherite because I'm truly expecting a lot so uh, we have we have you know we can afford it we'll, we'll, we'll make it work in fact we'll also upgrade my uh, personal backpack to netherite because I can't stand the feeling of not having the best or highest tier uh, backpack when my other machines are also using a similar thing. Uh, where is the diamond? There we go. All right, we're going to go to the mining dimension in order to do this. And I think I'm going to use a new teleport pad uh, from this new base to get me over there. Uh, I am curious to see what the relation is between portals, but it does look like I'm in a completely different area, it kind of looks like. Wait, no, this looks a little familiar to me. I'm trying to see if I could find the other portal. Uh, oh, okay, it's down here. So, oh, there it is. So I think it's like a one to one or one to eight, maybe. Oh, wait, no, that's the original Porto. So if I fly all the way here, this is the original teleport pad. So it could be one to eight. It could be one to one. It feels kind of like one to one, though, just based off of the distance. Because this does feel like from my base to my first house, because it's not that far. 
Okay, so let's set up the Chunk Destroyer. I think we're gonna go west from the original portal and let's just give a decent amount of space so that we don't have to walk right into a giant hole immediately. Let's make it nice and proper by going right about here. And then uh, let's also do this chunk by chunk, ready to start. We're going to expand this to however big we can. How big is this? 32. Oh my goodness. No, 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 no. Oh no. Wait, did that just seriously happen? <laughs> Wait, I have to find out what happens to the other teleport pad if uh, I break it. Oh no. <laughs> Let's see, is it still there? Oh, thank goodness it's still there. So if I go over here, oh, it just recreates it. Okay, everything is good. Oh, okay, I see now, I see. So we can't, oh, that would make sense because then you'd be able to just farm teleport pads, right? Well, unfortunately I won't be able to center this. So instead we'll just, hmm. I think we'll just put the chunk destroyer maybe at the center-ish of a chunk or right at the corner. Oh, we'll do it at the corner, actually. This is a little bit extreme, but I just wanted to see what an 8x8x8 looks like. And it's a really huge area. Uh, so I'm just going to lower this by, I don't know, let's let's bring it down to 4x4x4 four by four by four just real quick. Now let's see what the working area is like. So this is within view of my screen. So I think I'm going to like that a little bit better. So we have it set up essentially, and we could get it to start, but it's not going to work unless we have some sort of storage going on. So we're going to start with the netherite backpack here. And then I'm going to pump all of the items straight into a drawer, a series of drawers, sorry. Uh, so we'll start with the storage controller here. And uh, actually, I kind of forgot some stuff, but it's okay. And then we'll just make a wall of drawers. I know a lot of people prefer to do two by twos, but... In my opinion, it makes the items look so tiny that I cannot seemingly uh, <laughs> figure out what's what. I kind of need to see things in really big pictures. Uh, we'll go for... I think four high will be perfect here. I also took my beacon from my house and we'll just add some speed I suppose back into it just so that I can move a little bit faster all right so this is all set up now and we need to use the config tool to lock all of these drawers because the minute this starts running uh, I don't want random stuff to be going into these drawers because that's going to be a disaster we're going to connect all all of the drawers to all of these wait hello multiple right oh, okay there we go everything should be set up now and i'm uh very nervous about this but this should be fine right this is uh oh Oh no. My flux point! Oh thank goodness it's here. <laughs> that genuinely scared me for a second. Okay, so I'm just gonna put it here instead. And we could hit start. And I believe it should be building the frames around here. But yeah, now it is eating away at the world very, very quickly. I think if we fall down here, it's actually taking everything all the way to Y0. Yes, it is. So, 
it's eating a lot of blocks really, really quickly. And this is a problem for us because having it equipped with um, Fortune 3, yeah, it's already filled up. We're gonna we're gonna stop this real quick. Oh no 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 no! Hold on hold on hold on hold on! Oh boy, <laughs> everything's a disaster. Okay, hold on. Let me go back to the correct settings here. Now, what we need to do is we need to assign the drawers to certain blocks. So I'm going to take one of every common uh, building block from. The binding dimension and I'm gonna put them in here and because these are locked these will only be used for that and I'm going to yeah let's do three each so I can store one million of each block here and now all I'm really doing is I'm just taking items from the bag and assigning a spot for um, a drawer so yeah, I'm just gonna do this real quick with all of the items possible. I can't believe I already got 26 ancient debris, by the way. All right, I put some items into the drawer, but I just wanna show uh, what's gonna happen as soon as I set this to extract. So if I do this, things are going to start disappearing from here. Although this is very slow, isn't it? So this is why we get the advanced pipe upgrade. So now things are disappearing at a really, really quick rate. And if there is a assigned drawer for the item, it goes into it. So let's take a look over here and we can see the numbers are going up. But basically I do not have to mine ever again because we can just use this to do it all for us. So I'm just gonna let this run for a long while. And uh, yeah, uh, after it's done these uh, 4x4x4 chunks, uh, where we can see what we get. I'm gonna have to... Well, <laughs> okay, so uh, there's already a big problem. Uh, there is way too much cobblestone being mined and the backpack and piping cannot keep up with the amount of items that are getting mined. Uh, even with a second advanced pipe upgrade, I think I'm going to have to just surround this backpack with like advanced pipe upgrades because ooh, this is just rough right now. Thing is though, to me, it's really funny if I do have a million of these blocks just because I can. So I kind of do want the cobblestone to transfer over, but then after they get uh, filled up, I'm just going to uh, avoid any overflow. So I have those upgrades set in here and I also have an upgrade here uh, so that I could actually focus on the actual loot. <laughs> but yeah, this thing is wild and uh, I definitely need to upgrade my piping to accommodate for the speed of this. Uh, so I kind of have a new problem now. Yeah, I'm gonna need a lot more storage upgrades. I have stayed up way over again because of modded Minecraft, but I've upgraded every single output uh, pipe upgrade to netherite. And then I put four of them around the backpack. So now it's outputting four stacks per tick. And then I expanded the drawer because I didn't realize I was going to have this many items. In addition to that, I've also moved the chunk destroyer because I figured out the settings in order to make something happen behind it. This is a monster. Its hunger is insatiable. My need for capital gain is also insatiable. And I will stop at nothing until all these chunks are cleared. I'm going to bed. I'll be, I'll be back another time. Look how fast this drawer is getting. That's crazy. There's still a lot of unassigned drawers and I will be slowly upgrading all of these so that they have more capacity. Uh, just because I really don't think um, I'm going to be able to hold all of these um, 
items unless I start voiding the majority of them. Which, in all honesty, who needs this many items? I, I, I take that back. It's modded Minecraft. You never know. As OP as the Chunk Destroyer is, there are some limits to it. If we go down to the Deep Slate level, you can actually see there's some ores that have not been mined. And these are the Audemodium ores. Um, we're gonna hold on to this for now, um, because we really don't need Audemodium just yet. And uh, I'm not going to run this machine for too much, because I feel like that's gonna absolutely be unnecessary. Well, it finally finished. All chunks in front of me have been mined and placed into these drawers. And then some. I gotta figure out what to do with this now. But you know what? Until then, I hope you all enjoyed watching this v episode, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Alright, take care. Bye-bye.